Hey guys, it's Tony Under Tony here with episode 211 of this week's top 10 hot comic books found out in the wild and over my beautiful collection. Hey, this week's episode is going to feature a hunt of a local comic book store here, uh, at, look, not here, but over there, uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It's called Recollect. Uh, you got to go in there and check it out. I got to meet Kurt. If you go back to uh, my On the Hunt video, uh, episode 59, you can see what the store looks like. It's a pretty cool store. And uh, I had a $100 hunt, and I'm going to share that with you here in about, I don't know, mark, mark my time, in about three minutes. First, I want to do a shout out, uh, Janet Steele. Hey, Mom, how are you doing? Love you very much. I had some toys from a previous video at uh, uh, Chester's Collectibles, and I had a, a cool Cam Newton, and I was talking about the uh, tight end that was awesome, superstar, and... Uh, on TV and, I, and Nikki hey Nikki how you doing baby that's my son back there yes he's here he's my uh, producer <laughs> I do that because uh, there's these I don't know what are you doing here Nick besides eating my food yeah you lazy bum oh the air conditioning got quiet all right so now my voice is really loud I forgot what I was talking about oh yeah so I couldn't remember his name and Nikki's over there with his computer giving me all my data and my questions to ask and he wouldn't tell me uh, who I was thinking of and my mom said, Greg Olson, you dumbass. You know, it's only two women in my life call me dumbass. It's my mom and my wife. <laughs> I have a lot in common. Me. So I'm going to tell you, it. I was thinking of Ricky Prohl. Uh, he is an all-time great tight end. He has, got, he has got a sports complex north of Greensboro. My boys have gone there during snow days, during their state playoff run. They've gone there for major wrestling, uh, not competitions, but... Um, clinics where they get to meet you know high star uh Bo Bo nickel um max went there and got to meet him and wrestle so that's pretty cool so i was thinking ricky prohl but ricky prohl's not on tv and ma you're right it is greg olson greg olson's an awesome tight end i can't believe we've had great tight ends and um i can't remember both of them only too much data thanks mom and then um oh what else oh got a new sub ash uh is it uh Peden? Peden? how are you doing uh welcome to the hunt and then also i gotta do a huge shout out to uh kurt at recollect hey buddy how are you doing i got to go into his store for the first time nice layout uh a big selection a real nice guy i want to say i don't know am i talking to you kurt you're a nice guy or am i talking to the audience you're a nice guy. I, you know, I, I, what do I know? You know, you could be a mean person. You're just, you hurt my feelings. Uh, you said uh, it was nice meeting me, and I didn't know how to take that. I don't get compliments like that. Sorry, Kurt. And then um, uh, you can find, you can find uh, uh, Recollect on Instagram at re.collectwsnc. That's for Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And check them out on Facebook at re.collect. And uh, they do live uh, openings on Saturday nights. I think I got all the information right, Kurt. Even though giving you a hard time, but uh, let's get going. Uh, this is a hundred dollar hunt, right? Oh, question: Did you guys go see um, the Flash? My family refuses to go see it. Can you tell me if you thought it was any good? Do I need to go see it by myself? Anybody want to go see the Flash with me? My kids don't want to go. My wife doesn't want to go. Woe is me. Single white male. <laughs> uh, wants to see the flash with anybody. <laughs> I'm not single, but I just meant I was going to be the only one going to the movies. Nikki, shut up. Don't you tell anybody I said that. <laughs> they won't tell. All right, you ready? So number 10 of this week's top 10 hot comic books is none other than... <gasps> hey, that's me. I love when you do that, Nick. So number 10 is uh, Marvel Presents Guardians of the Galaxy. This is issue number five. This is the third one of their uh, first solo series in Marvel Presents. Uh, this is a mid-grade. It goes anywhere between six and 10 bucks. It's a solid get at eight. So there's a couple of my friends. They say, hey man, a, a low grade's better than no grade, meaning you want to get a, a, a copy of it before you can up, up upgrade to a higher graded copy there's a lot of upwards and graded 
So I picked this up because I haven't I haven't ever read this. So this this three parts of the Marvel Presents issues uh, three, four, five. That was uh, I picked these up. So they're mid grades. They'll all be in here. I'm getting stuck, Nick. I gotta get I gotta get over this. I'm gonna start stuttering, start sweating. <sighs> you wanna start over, Nikki? More enthusiasm? All right, let's do more enthusiasm. This is a pretty damn good reader copy. <laughs> It goes between six and ten bucks. Let's get that up on the big board at number ten. Yeah, I don't know. I I haven't read it, so I, I was it was really cool to get these three issues and read them. Oh, my camera! How do I fix my camera? Can you see it? There we go. The lighting. I adjusted my lighting. As soon as I step out of the picture, it focuses on me. It comes in. I go away. I guess it's having a hard time focusing. Why am I talking, Nick? All right, let me get going. So the next comic book is number nine. Man, I love when things go so smooth. So number nine of this week's top ten. Ah, speak of the devil. This is Marvel Presents. This is issue number four. This is also a mid-grade. Uh, this continues the story of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I love that movie. You love that movie, Nick? He did, actually, I know. The uh, what's, the, uh, what's the gold guy? All right, my younger brother's his name. Um... Troy, no, Adam, Adam Warlock. Thanks, Nick, you're a big help. Sorry, Troy, not that you, not my favorite brother, you're just uh, not in the movie uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, Nikki, it's not Taserface. Ooh, Troy, <laughs> I'll smack him for you. Shut up, Nick. All right, so where the hell was I? Oh, this one goes between six and 10 bucks. It, it is a solid get at eight. Let's put that up on the big board. Yeah, I know, Nick. Blah -de blah blah blah. <laughs> dead dead silence. I keep waiting for you to talk back so they can hear you on the mic. So number eight of this week's top ten. Can you see it down there? This is oh, this one's not the Guardians. This is a uh, a Marvel superhero Secret Wars. Uh, this is also a a mid grade, <clears throat> better than no grade. <clears throat> I got a mouse in my throat. <clears> throat. How the hell did the mouse get in there? This is the first appearance, uh, first cameo appearance of the second Spider-Woman. What's her name, Nick? Uh, Julian Carpenter. Yeah, this is a pretty cool story. I don't have these, these, I don't have these ones anymore in a complete series. I've had this, I got it in a uh, trade paperback somewhere. I mean, I've read it before, but I totally forgot there was a new Spider-Woman in here. And there's a possibility that we may see here in a Sony movie. Who knows? They announce a movie and then they say we're not doing it. Welcome to the world of Sony. You don't have a clue what the hell's coming out next year. Oh, previews of, uh, go check out uh, Venom 3 previews. I go, look, it's just him being filmed on the set. A picture of him in his, never mind. I don't even want to get into it. Did you guys like uh, the Venom movies? I like the first one. Second one, eh, not so much. And then uh, they were hinting that it was going to cross over to Marvel Universe. And they really didn't do it. So I don't know what the hell they're doing. Now, I love the animated movie. That, that was freaking fantastic. You liked that one, didn't you? Yeah? Yeah, I know. I know. You, you'd like anything with Peter Porker in there. Spider-Ham. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Nikki. Let's, I'm getting sidetracked here. This, this is like a long video. Uh, that's number eight. Solid get at eight. Imagine that. Eight for eight. Let's put that up on a big board. I know I can't maintain a single thought. Uh, I did like uh, Across the Spider-Verse. And yes, I know, Nikki, it's going to come to a new movie next year. I can't wait. It's going to go by fast. So number seven of this week, top ten. Oh, look at that. Marvel Presents Guardians. Look at that. This is the first issue. The first one was uh, Bloodstone. Second issue was Bloodstone of Marvel Presents. And then the third one was Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's also a mid-grade Definitely a, a, a good reader copy to get. And it goes between 8 and 12 bucks. It's a solid get at 10 I mean, they're not that dinged up to where they're dollar books. But, you know, you grab them. You, you grab them to have them. I wanted them. And you could have them, too. <laughs> All right, this is going to go up number 7. Up on the big board. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't read them before. That's actually pretty cool. Did you read these, Nick? Do you want to read these? Is it okay if Nikki reads those? We'll let them down in the comments. Let me know if you let, you want to take them home. What if they sell? 
You'll ship them? Oh, ballsy guy. You're going to forget them. Yeah, you are. When's the la what's the last thing you read? Some preacher books. Did you bring all those trade paperbacks? Had the whole run of preacher trade paperbacks. You finished them, right? Did you bring them back? What do you mean they're in Michael's room? You're blaming Michael now? <laughs> I have to do the trade paperbacks for the preacher. I've got those. We'll make a video of them. Books that Nikki read. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone, Nick. So number six of this week. Look at that. That is What If Spider-Man number 42. Uh, this is What If He Kept his six arms if you didn't know there for a while he had six arms like a true spider something was wrong with the serum if you guys remember back so this is a homage cover to amazing uh amazing fantasy 15 first appearance of spider-man this one goes between five and 15 bucks and it's a solid get at 10. i'm gonna put that up on the wall at number six cool hey we're at tony's target where I've got my sights set on something, and I gotta share it with you. <laughs> and Nikki, Nikki makes a make, makes a silly comment. Hell, all these books I'm sharing with you. Who is that? Can you see what that is? Let's get a closer look. That is Incredible Hulk. That is issue uh, 454. What's cool about this is at, at Andy Kubert uh, art. I love this art, and he's in the Savage Land with uh, Kazar and Wolverine and they go to fight and Wolverine just lashes into him and the Hulk goes like what no metal <laughs> this is the first time they had fought uh, since uh, he lost his andamanium and since he couldn't penetrate the Hulk's skin without the metal the Hulk kind of brushed him off and was gonna pop his head just just squeeze him and pop his head off and then, uh, I, I don't want to ruin this book for you, but it's a, a two-parter, and there's a cliffhanger at the end. It's definitely a, a pretty good read, and I love the art. This one goes anywhere from 5 to $15. On average, it is a solid get at 10 And Nikki, Nikki wants me to start saying fair market value. Fair market value. So the fair market value is, it is a, it is a price point where you say, oh, the book is worth $15. Right, and then you've got somebody trying to sell it for four dollars. Could be a bad grade. Could be somebody trying to wholesale it. Who knows, right? And then you go, well, the four four dollar one sells. Boom, fifteen dollars sits there. So then there's uh, books in the middle between eight and twelve dollars. So then I go, okay, I'm going to drop the low, drop the high, give you a medium price, fair market value, ten dollars. Is that what you want me to say, Nick? Too much information. The FMV. Yeah, we're going to put that up on the board at FMV 307 AM. What the hell's wrong with you, Nikki? You know what AM radio is, right? It's what I used to listen to when I was a kid. <laughs> I, li I like that cover. It's a pretty cool cover. All right, we're at the halfway point. Hey guys, I want to say thanks for watching me here on uh, YouTube. Where each week I bring you top 10 hot comics, action figures and collectibles out in the world or from my beautiful collection. And Nikki says, hey, look, I'm on the hunt, so you don't have to hunt for them. Because why? This is a claim sale. All these items up on this big board right here are up for grabs. All you got to do is type the name, or not the name, the number of the books that you're interested in. I'll get with you for shipping. Uh, it's $9.95 for the first book and $1.95 for each additional book. Stick around at the end of the video, and I'll tell you how you can save over 25% off all these books with free shipping. All right, cool. Ready to get back to it? I am. <laughs> Nikki, you're doing a great job, baby. Keep it up. So number uh, five of this week's top ten. Oh, cool. This is Batman Superman. No, Superman Batman. Sorry. This is number 22. It is the first cameo appearance of Batman Beyond in the uh, current continuity of the DC Universe. Uh, this version of Batman Beyond is actually Tim Drake. Now, I know, I know, you can leave the name down in the comments of the guy that's in the animated series, who is Batman Beyond, but Tim Drake is the Batman Beyond in this, in the current universe. It is cited as the first appearance of, I'm sorry, cameo appearance of Batman Beyond. It goes between 10 and 20 bucks, and it's a solid get at $15 at the fair market value. Are you, are you satisfied, Nick? I know you're trying to change me for the better, Nick, it's, you, but you hurt my feelings. I'm trying to be consistent. 
Dependable. I like that one. That's a good one. Number four, this week's top ten. Hello. Is ah cool. This is Captain Marvel's number thirty-nine. You know I'm trying to complete my Captain Marvel. I've got rid of uh, these books in a big purge, and I am trying to re complete my Captain Marvel. So this is a this is a cool one. Uh, almost forgot one. This is the Evil Watcher. This is the first appearance, and it's also the origin of the Watchers. This is a pretty cool one. It goes between fifteen and twenty-five dollars, and a solid get at twenty. I know Nick. That could have been. That could have easily been Tony's target with all the cool information I showed you about that one. But you didn't know you needed that one. Did you know that there was an evil watcher? <laughs> I'll be watching you. Sing with me. Who is that? Who sings that? Yeah, I know who sings it, Nick. I know I'm not singing it. Don't be mean. Number three of this week's top ten hot comics. This is therapeutic, Nick. I get in here, get some work done. Get to get to deal with some comic books. What do you mean? Did I show? I, oh yeah, I'll do that here in a second. I, I forgot. You get you get arguing with me and I get distracted. I, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Look at this. This is number three of this week's top ten hot comic books of a hundred dollar hunt from Recollect in Winston Salem. This is Batman Superman. This is issue number twenty three, and this is the full first full appearance of Batman Beyond. 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 He's from Beyond. Hmm. It's, it's my southern drawl. I know I'm from South Detroit, Nick. You don't, you don't have to point it out. I don't have a southern drawl. Sorry. You know, I'm down by 8 Mile Road. Dropping miles. Not me. I, my parents were close. 4 mile, 5 mile. Did you know how far apart those ro roads were back then, Nicky? So number 3 of this week's top 10 was Batman uh, 23. And I did already, did already say it. Yeah, you got it. The fair market value of this comic book is $20, as per Nicholas Steele's request. That's a pretty cool cover. And that's Ed McGinnis, right? That's the same guy that did the Red Hulk covers. That is some good good art. Love that stuff. So number two of this week's top ten hot comic books found at Recollect out of Winston-Salem. Drum roll, please. Boom! Defenders number five. This is the origin of the Valkyrie from 1973. I am trying to, uh, I know there's 150 issues of the Defenders. I, I had the first 15, and I'm going to try to get the f first 15 again. So my collecting days are still, cur still currently active, Nick. This one's a pretty sweet book. It goes between 20 and 30 bucks, and it's a solid get at 25. Origin of the Valkyrie. I know, I'm sorry. Fair market value. <laughs> He's flipping me off. I'm, I'm gonna turn. I can't turn the camera. It won't go around the corner. You don't want to see my son flipping me off. Let me just say, who wants to see a shaggy-haired, 27-year-old uh, flipping off an old man? You're such a mean guy. That's elder abuse, Nick. That is elder abuse. <laughs> oh jeez. Ah! Yeah, all right, that's your fault. You didn't put it in there. Ah! It's still not in there. Get it off me. So number uh, one of this week's top ten. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's none other than Defenders number 19. Look at that, back-to-back -back Defenders books. This is the second appearance of the Wrecking Crew. Uh, I was so excited. Kurt, if you're still watching, what if he stopped watching in the middle of the video? Sorry, if you're still here, Kurt, thanks for sticking through and getting through it. it this is really a family therapy for me, and uh, I ar argue with my oldest son who sits over there at a side computer giving me information at this computer that I read off of. And he's not telling me that he's doing this. And that means he's got a frog in his throat. So this is Defenders 9, second appearance of the Wrecking Crew. I thought this was the first appearance of the Wrecking Crew. I thought I got a super steal. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not that I would have taken advantage of anybody, but hell, this is a beautiful book. Anyways, I'm glad I got it. Goes between 20 and 30 bucks, and the fair market value is $25. See, that doesn't sound too bad. All right, Nick. I can give it in. It's number one. And the bonus, each week I got a bonus. This week is no different. This week's bonus is. Boom! Secret Warriors! I don't know. That's not. This is a, a dark rain. So there was a dark reign where it seemed like all the villains were superheroes. 
That's where the Thunderbolts are coming from, so I can't wait to see that movie. And speaking of Thunderbolts, the woman that's putting together in the movie universe, are you ready for her name? I can't say her name, but I'm going to tell you, the reason this book is so hot right now is, uh, what's her name? Julia Dreyfus? There's the first part there, something Julia. Do you guys know what's the actress's name? She's from um, the Bob Newhart show? No, that's too old, Nick. You're too old for that. I mean, you're too young for Bob Newhart. No, the the one with um, the comedian. Kramer's in it. Ah, dang it. There you go again, Nikki. You think I would remember? Guys, what's the name of that show that she's in? Julia something Dreyfus. Help me out. Help me out, please. Mom, if you're watching, please tell me what the hell I'm trying to think of. Anyway, she portrays a, a character called Contessa Valentina Alleg Allegra. Uh, Della Fontaine. Whew, she's kind of been in the end credit scenes of the last year's uh, Marvel movies, and she's putting together a group of superheroes that technically could be supervillains. You know, kind of kind of like, uh, you know, Nick, Black Widow, right? You've seen her recruiting her, and then she's also recruiting a U.S. agent, and she's going to put together the Thunderbolts. So this one goes between twenty and forty dollars, and a fair market value is thirty big ones on this one. And she's been out, so she's also known as I said, Madam Web. I, I was way off. It is Madam Hydra, and the continuity in the current Marvel universe is Contessa Valentina Allegra Della Fontaine. I don't think I could say it without looking at it. All right, let's put that up on a big board. I don't know why. Can you say that, Nikki? No, I didn't think you could. It's a nice one. Hey, guys, uh, this week's hunt total, all these books that I got on a $100 hunt from, oh, look at this. This is really cool. Can you see it? Is it shiny? Can you see it? It says Rico. Rico and it's a beautiful business card. I like that, except I got I to gotta cut, I, I gotta cut myself with your business card. It was like, Nikki. <laughs> I'm bullseye. I wouldn't do that to your card. It's right here. It's a magic trick. <laughs> what was I saying? This week's hunt total is $189. That's not bad. And uh, that's a pretty good hunt. That's a good return on my investment. And then also, Nick uh, made a suggestion. So if you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe for enjoying these videos, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and go down into the claim section, any of the number of the books that you're interested in, I'll get with you a total and then I'll get you a shipping. And then I also told you how to save 25% off. If you are a, what, what are we going to call call them? If you're a fellow hunter and you do those three things, I'll, you can save 10% off of any of these items. And if you're a big game hunter, that's right, the BGH, you'll save over 25% if you buy all 12 of these and you get them for 140 and free shipping in the continental U.S. Outside the continental U.S., I'll take $15 off the actual cost. Let me get out of your way so you can look at that. It's a great-looking hunt this week. Guys, I want to say uh, a big shout-out and say thank you to Kurt at Recollect. I really appreciate it. Uh, you will be seeing me again, hopefully, if I'm still welcome in your store. And Nicholas hasn't ruined it for me. I'll bring Nikki with me. He was there last time, but he was in the car playing on his um, phone. Yeah, Nick big help you are. Michael at least went in the store with me in uh, Fanboy Comics in Wilmington. Nicholas, hey, tune in next week when you see some more family um, therapy. That's really what this is all about. All right, I'm out of here. You out of here? Guys, I want to say thank you, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.